What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about five different perfumes from the brand Ahmad Al Maghribi, which is getting very popular these days. It's a Middle Eastern brand from the UAE and they have showrooms in many Middle Eastern countries. I've seen a video of their showroom in Saudi Arabia, which looks really huge, as good as Ajmal and Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. So it looks like in the Middle Eastern countries, they are very popular and smelling these perfumes that I have, I definitely agree that they make really good quality stuff. So let's get started with number one. I have totally five. So at number one, I've just got a sample of this one because I knew that this was a clone of the popular Inisho Oud for greatness. And that's why I just got the 2ml official wheel, which comes in this kind of box. Okay, it's named as Bin Shake, which is very popular. Perfume Guru also has reviewed it. The bottle looks really gorgeous. Surprisingly, this smells way better than Latafa's Oud for Glory, which is also an inspired version of Inisho Oud for Greatness. Okay, so Latafa was the one which made the first inspired version of Inisho Oud for Greatness. And that's why this one got very popular, but I wasn't a fan of this one since the beginning, but there were many people who loved this one. So I still used to talk about this a lot. And I even used to mention that I don't personally enjoy this one because it has that synthetic patchouli, synthetic saffron, and that synthetic oud. So I was not really enjoying this particular perfume from Latafa. So I never even bothered to try the original oud for greatness by any show, but Ahmad Al Maghribi surprised me guys. The quality of this inspired version is top notch. Okay. Even if you get the full bottle, which I believe is an 80 ml and it costs around 5,000. I would say it is worth if you love that Oath for Greatness sort of blend because this one has amazing quality. This is the 2 ml wheel. Okay. The official wheel from Ahmad Al Maghribi. It comes in this little tiny box. This is the best version of Inisho Oud for Greatness. And this is named as Bin Shake. Okay. You can also read the notes breakdown here. But I'll tell you what exactly I get. Here it talks about saffron, rose, citrus, oak moss, blah, blah. So I generally don't go with the notes. Because obviously you don't really sense all the notes that official notes give so i'll tell you what exactly i can smell of this one i have compared it with this one as well like i said there's a lot of synthetic feel here that's why i don't enjoy but nothing really to complain because latafa makes budget fragrance guys initial wood for greatness is super expensive around eighteen thousand is what i know so for that price and this price is a huge difference so i wouldn't really complain this has better quality because the price is also higher 5000 for an 80 ml this also has that beautiful better smelling middle eastern rich oud without that skankiness and animalic feel so that's why the oud smells very rich here but it doesn't have that skankiness or animalic feel it's all cut down but it smells very rich you definitely have to have taste towards that middle eastern style of oud without that skankiness and animalic feel along with that you get a beautiful patchouli very refined and also that touch of BR540 multiple note. The multiple note here is so scratchy. I just don't enjoy it. Though this performs really good and in the air, people still get a lot of compliments. I have mentioned that in several other videos. But this one smells fantastic. If you like that blend, I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this one if you prefer quality. 80 ml for 5000. I think it's still worth considering that initial wood for greatness is 18 to 20,000 for maybe 100 ml. So with that price range, 5,000 for 80 ml, I think it's definitely great because the quality here is top notch. The performance is brilliant. Three hours of projection, 11 to 12 hours of lasting is what I got. Now that's my favorite for the winters. I'll tell you, there's another surprising release by Ahmad Al Maghribi, which is definitely for the summers and it's called as Scarf. I'll quickly do the presentation. Okay, this is how the presentation box comes. It's a 100 ml Eau de Parfum concentration. It's named as Kaf, which is an Arabic letter. And you can see the branding here, the hologram sticker here. Oops, the hologram sticker here. And the batch details here. 2026 is the expiry date. And 2023 is the manufacturing. It looks like in 
This particular brand gives three years of shelf life, but in general, they don't really expire as long as you store them the right way in cool place without direct sunlight. And the bottle is also very nice, simple, but yet very neatly done. Okay. And you can see the cap detailing here. The base is thick. It says calf in Arabic. 100 ml over the parfum concentration. There's a little defect in the bottle, which I believe is because of the heat during the transit. So when I turn the cap, this ring right here also moves with that, which ideally shouldn't. Okay, you can see the gap here, which ideally shouldn't. So you just have to place it back. So there's no big deal. It doesn't come off completely, but these are little defects which happens in international transit because of the heat and pressure, blah, blah. So you shouldn't really make a big scene about it and that's why i'm mentioning it because you can definitely use the perfume as good as a new bottle the sprayer is also not bad a very controlled sprayer okay gives a good amount of mist as well and it smells fantastic guys this does not smell like any other designer perfume so it's not a straight through clone of any designer perfume or any other perfume that anybody knows of but it reminded me of one Athar, which is a perfume oil from Ajmal brand and I have reviewed it long back. I still have it. I need to search my other shelf. So that's why I did not get it here. It's named as Atuf. Okay. And it's very cheap. This smells definitely of better quality. But in case you want to know how exactly calf smells, this smelt almost 70% like Ajmal's Athar named as Atuf. Okay. So I'll tell you what the breakdown is. You get a lot of watermelon in the top. There's a bit of lavender feel. There's a creamy bluish vibe, very lightly. Okay, it's not a typical blue fragrance. It's more of the watermelon and lavender that I get. And then in the mid, there is lily florals. And then in the base, you get a nice, beautiful musk and woody. Okay, fantastic blend, but it doesn't smell like any of the designer fragrance. It's a Middle Eastern style of fresh fragrance. So that's why I mentioned Atuf Atar from Ajmal. If you've tried that, you would definitely be able to relate this one. And the best part is the performance, guys. If you want a great performing summer scent, I think this is a one stop for the summers because it costs around 3000 for 100 ml and it performs like beast mode. It stayed like 15 plus hours on my skin. It projected about three to four hours. Fantastic blend if you are looking for performance. Okay, but don't expect any sort of that blue aquatic that you get in designer fragrance. It's completely different watermelon and lavender with that nice musky and woody base beautiful fragrance it doesn't smell like a playful invictus savage that sort of vibe it does not go in that direction it's slightly middle eastern but doesn't have that middle eastern notes like amber saffron nothing of that sort it's totally fresh you definitely can use it in the summers and it performs great and that's the best part especially in a country like India where you need great performance for the summers, I think Kaf is a must try. At number three, which is another summer fragrance and that is called as Muzn, okay, which is again a Middle Eastern word, has a similar bottle design just like Kaf, okay, but this is totally maroon. I'll quickly show you the presentation box as well. This is how the presentation box comes like. This is also a 100 ml eau de parfum concentration. Very nice detailing here and other details here. It's a Middle Eastern brand made in UAE, says as Ajman, which is again part of Dubai. Let me check the uh, expiry date is again 2026 manufactured in May 2023, three years shelf life again. So now talking about this one. Now this is a fruity fragrance, but it does not go in the direction of what designer fragrances has that fruity notes okay this is more like a creamy fruity note it has that little warmth as well in the fruity note it's not mixed with citrus okay so i don't get that citrus fruity vibe i get more of that warm fruity vibe which is again different from all the designer fragrances that i've tried very nice creamy fruitiness with that warm feel it has a nice orange watermelon and a lot of red berries in the fruity accord mid there is a bit of lily florals and then base sandalwood and musk that fruity accord settles down after one hour so it does not smell like the typical fruity fragrance but it still holds on to that creaminess just like most middle eastern fragrance and that's why this one also performs and lasts really good two to three hours of projection 
9 to 10 hours of lasting this also performs really good but i would still suggest this one if you need better performance okay 15 plus hours is what i got with this one this if you like fruity accord for that first one hour you can definitely try this one amazing fruity accord but why i'm specifying this is because some people do not like that fruity sweetness here the fruity sweetness is not like the designer style added with citrus there is no citrus element that i get here but it is warm fruity accord and it settles down within one hour and smells very creamy after that along with musk and sandalwood so definitely check it out both are great fragrances both are crowd pleasers you are most likely going to enjoy it if you want something different from the designer styles at number four is summer oud again an official 2ml wheel okay i did not go for the full bottle now the full bottle comes as 60 ml which again costs around 3500 if i remember now why they named it as summer oud because generally oud is meant for winters because oud is a very heavy note which smells better in the cooler season but here what they have done is they have played with patchouli note a lot with that touch of oud okay so the oud is not heavy here this is an oud which you can wear it in the summers but i would still suggest that oud in general smells better in the winter so it definitely goes in the winters as well but if you're a huge fan of oud you want something oud in the summers then this would definitely suit because this is played around more with patchouli in the opening you would get a bit of that orange feel cypriol there is saffron there's a touch of rose and in the base you would get cashmere wood as well but the most dominant note that i could sense was the patchouli here in the late write down you would get that oud feel as well along with leather but the patchouli is the most dominant note and this one also reminded me of ajmal's shaza al oud okay i have reviewed this long back this also plays around with patchouli and musk so it kind of reminded i mean this one kind of reminded me of ajmal shaza al oud about 70 percent i would say it's not really a clone but because of that patchouli combination this also has that patchouli combination with oud so that is where i was able to relate this one now again the performance is great with this one as well three hours of projection and 12 plus hours of lasting at number five this is the fifth one which is called as leather again a 2 ml wheel i did not go for the full bottle because i have a lot of leather fragrances now this is the cheapest among all the Ahmad Al Maghribi fragrances in case you're going for full bottle because this one costs around 1800 to 2000 for 100 ml I believe if you want something as a leather fragrance you definitely can check this one out but I've done a comparison with La Yuk Wang from Rasasi because this is a straight through clone of Tuscan leather but the raspberry is very heavy here compared to Tom Ford's Tuscan leather it is very heavy here compared to Rasasi La Yuk Wang as well and the leather is also pretty strong in the opening i don't enjoy this kind of strong leather and heavy raspberry okay it's more balanced in this one i still enjoy this one this is the rasasi layuk one but it is very expensive guys this is 75 ml for five to five and a half thousand this is i believe it is 80 ml or maybe 100 ml for just under 2000 so obviously there will be a quality difference this is just amazing after one and a half hour i don't enjoy in the first one hour because it's too rough this is heavy with the raspberry sweetness heavy with the leather as well and i don't enjoy this one as well in the first five to six hours i enjoy this one a lot after the six hours mark because this is a beast mode leather fragrance it projects and projects for about three to four hours and after six hours is when that musky leather comes in and that's where i enjoy the leather tones down comes like a beautiful musk and slight woody accord after that and it performs for about 13 to 14 hours and after six hours is when i enjoy this one okay if you don't like too heavy leather fragrance avoid this one this is a better choice but if you want to play around you can spray like three hours before you want to wear your clothes and then do it just like how I do it with live warm. I do that with this one as well one and a half hour before I just spray it on my clothes so that it settles down because after that it smells fantastic okay this smells fantastic after six hours it still goes about 14 hours as the overall lasting so you still can play around that way so that's about it I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you've tried any of these comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers